Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Tobias and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Monocaster Lite AU-AM200 for podcasting on a Mac. And by the way, right now I am using the Monocaster AU-AM200 S4 to record this video. Now, whether you get the S4 or I believe it's the S1 model, the only difference between the two is the microphone that it comes with. The actual Monocaster console itself will be the same no matter which one you get. So first, to set up the Monocaster light, let's go ahead and plug in the microphone. If you look at the back of the Monocaster light, you'll see that there are two 3.5mm mic inputs. And we are going to take the XLR to 3.5mm cable and plug that into one of the mic inputs. And then we're going to take the XLR end of the cable and plug that into the microphone. Next, let's go ahead and plug in our USB-C to USB-A cable. The USB-C end will plug into the USB-C port on the Monocaster Lite, and the USB-A port will get plugged directly into your computer. Next, we're going to go ahead and plug our headphones into the headset port on the back of the Monocaster Lite, and this will be so we can monitor our audio. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my iPhone to the music input on the back of the Monocaster light. This will be so we can play music in the background from my phone or any other sounds that I might have on my iPhone that I want to record. And to connect my iPhone, I'm going to be using one of the included 3.5mm TRRS cables and also a 3.5mm to lightning cable adapter, which is not included, but I will go ahead and put a link to one down in the description below in case you need one. You can actually also connect to the Monocaster light via Bluetooth and it will show up as Mono AU AM200 in your Bluetooth menu. And as far as podcasting goes, that's all we have to do with the actual Monocaster itself. If you do want to connect a second microphone to the Monocaster, you can with the second mic input, but just keep in mind that the AM200 does not provide phantom power, so you can only use microphones that do not require phantom power, such as the Mono A03, the PM360, and the PM325. And of course, dynamic microphones will also work. And you may notice that there are other ports on the back of the Monocaster light that we did not use such as the three pod outputs. These are actually meant for streaming and you can actually connect up to three other devices to the Monocaster with those pod outputs. So you can stream to three different devices and three different platforms at the same time. But for a podcasting setup, we won't be using those. But let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to make a video on how to use the Monocaster light for streaming. And there is actually another output on the back of the Monocaster light, which can be used to connect to speakers, but we won't be using that in this video either. Now, I did say that this would be a video on how to set up the Monocaster light with a Mac. So we're going to move over to my computer in a second, but first let's make sure to hold the power button on the back of the Monocaster light to turn it on. Once you see all the buttons light up on the Monocaster light, that's how you'll know that it's turned on. And now let's go ahead and take a look at my Mac. So every Apple computer should have GarageBand on it. If yours does not, you can go ahead and download that for free from the App Store. So now we're looking at GarageBand on my computer. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to GarageBand at the top left, go down to Preferences, and then click, it might start with you uh, on general, go ahead and click on audio slash MIDI. And then where it says devices for output device and input device, just make sure it says Mono AU AM200. Um, if it's not on the AM200, go ahead and just get this drop down menu and click on it. And um, then you'll be good to go. We can now go ahead and record and check that out guys. I'm now recording to GarageBand. Um, if you are getting the count-in or the metronome, you can go ahead and just turn those off so you don't hear that clicking noise. Now, if you want to go back and listen to the audio that you recorded, go ahead and hit return or you can manually drag the playhead yourself. Go back to wherever you want to start, press play, and then if you don't hear your track playing, what you need to do is turn the music knob on the Monocaster up and then you'll be able to hear your recording. Now there are some pretty cool preset effects on the Monocaster light itself that might help you out with your podcasting. 
So the first thing that I would do if I was recording a podcast is I like the preset pro EQ setting. So if you hit the effect button on the Monocaster light, it'll tell you in your headphones which preset you're using. And I actually like to use the pro setting. So if you hit the effect button, it'll change colors. And once the light on the effect button turns red, that will be the pro setting. And that's just my favorite preset EQ on the Monocaster light. You can see which one you prefer, but that's the one that I personally prefer. And then there are some cool other effects that you can use, such as the pitch button. Where you can change the pitch of your voice. It can make it high, it can make it low, it could also make it super high like this. It sounds like a cartoon character. Um, then of course the robot setting. Click on the effect button and that will bring you back to your normal talking voice. So yeah, guys, there's some pretty cool settings. There's also a denoise button. If you press that, it kind of acts as a noise gate to kind of mitigate the uh, whatever background noise might be around you. Um, I usually actually like to not have that turned on. I like to uh, turn off the noise canceling so I just get the straight vo um, audio from the microphone. The other thing you can do is um, adjust the volume of the music with the music knob on the Monocaster. So if I go ahead, let me grab my GoPro real quick so I can actually show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn off the lights on the buttons because my camera is picking them up like, like crazy. So you can actually turn off the lights on the buttons if you want completely. So yeah, now my lights are all turned off and I'll go ahead and play um, some music again. Yeah, smoking slow, coasting through my and as you can see, you can adjust the volume of the music with this knob right here. You can adjust the, the mic gain with this knob over here. So right now I'm getting much quieter and I'll go ahead and turn myself up. This monitor fader right here will adjust the volume at which you hear things in your headphones. So if you turn it all the way down, you will not hear anything in your headphones. And I typically have mine quite high up. And then of course, if you hit any of these preset samples, it'll play like different sounds. Like this is an applause one. Uh, laughter. <laughs> so yeah, guys, there's there's different things you can mess around with. And these blank ones down here, you can actually record your own samples. And you can actually record these samples from any device you want. You can even use the microphone. I'm going to use my computer right now. You can use your smartphone, Bluetooth, whatever you want. I'm going to use my computer because I already have it ready to go. So I am going to first create a new track. I'm just going to create a software instrument, hit create. Oh, I'm gonna hit Apple K on my keyboard to bring up the musical typing. What you're going to want to do is first hit this loop back button on the Monocaster light, and that will allow you to start editing these buttons. So what you wanna do is just hold down any of these buttons. Once it starts flashing, you can start recording your sample. Once you let go, you will stop recording your sample. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna hold down the button and just press some buttons on the keyboard, and that will be our sample for this demonstration. Okay, so now there should be a sample on here. You know, it recorded kind of quiet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up my music um, a bit more, my music knob a bit more. I'm going to delete that sample by holding it down. Okay, now the sample is deleted, and I'm going to record that again. So let's go ahead and press that until it starts flashing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. All right, I think that was a bit louder. So yeah, that's how you can record your own sample. So yeah, guys, that's how you can set up the Monocaster Lite AM200 for podcasting. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer any questions regarding the AM200. And of course, guys, if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!